What's up guys, Justin Greenall here with 65drums.com and today I'm doing a review of the Rock and Sock Drum Throne, the one with the hydraulic lift. I bought this way back in like 2009 or so and I realize there's some of you out there looking for a quality drum throne because I totally understand. I started off with one of those cheap $20 drum thrones that come free with every drum set you buy and it was completely awful. Right after about 10 to 15 minutes is when it starts to hurt and it just gets worse and worse and worse. And because of the nature of the practices that I do, sometimes I'll do an hour or two hour practices. And you know what? You need a solid drum throne to be able to get through that. You might be able to get through, you know, a half an hour set with one of those cheap $20 drum thrones. But if you're going to be serious about drumming, whether you play acoustic drums or an electronic drum set, you need a quality drum throne if you're going to be serious about playing drums. So back then, I went and looked at reviews and everything, and I had sat on obviously a bunch of different drum thrones of other people's drum sets, and I settled on buying this drum throne. This particular drum throne costs about $170 new, and to get the back part right here, this is detachable, costs you an extra, I believe it's like $45. Um, this is not essential actually. You can buy this, just the, just the drum throne, and you will be completely fine. In fact, this is easier to transport because, you know, this isn't sticking up when you're like throwing this in the back of a trailer or something. So it's actually easier just to buy this if you're intending on taking it around a lot with you. But if you want to spend an extra 45 bucks to get one of these, now this is very nice actually. It gives you a little bit of support in your lower back and it is very, very nice. Now, if you don't have a big budget and you don't want to spend that extra $45 on this seat, it is not essential, but it is nice because it gives you a bit of back support and it is adjustable and can go up very, very high. And that's great for people like me because I'm way over six foot tall. So the fact that this entire chair, including the back piece, can go up so high, that is really, really essential for me. And yeah, this, this is one of the highest reaching drum thrones that I've tried. Most of those cheaper drum thrones, they're way too short for me. So again, that's why getting a nice drum throne was essential for me. And there's a little lever that controls the hydraulics of the chair. You have to put actually quite a bit of pressure on it. Just pushing on it with my hand, I can't make it go down. But the moment you sit on it, it goes right down. It is really, really nice, especially if there are a couple of people using the same drum throne at the same time, all different heights. You can easily get back to the height you want. You don't have to mess around with screws or anything to adjust the height, which is really, really nice. A funny thing about the drum throne is that it's actually not that comfortable to sit on unless you're drumming. I took it into the living room to watch a movie a couple years ago and I just realized it's not that comfortable just to sit on just as a regular chair. It is really, really comfortable to sit on when you're drumming. It's designed for drumming. The drum throne also has a very, very wide base so you don't have to worry about tipping over or anything. It's a really, really solid build. All of this metal right here, this is a very, very thick steel. This is all double braced. It's just a really, really good build quality. And if you look at the, the seat, this is a bicycle style seat, by the way. I do like it a lot. If you look at the bicycle seat part, since I've had this for like 2009 till now, the only problem I've had with it is that some of the stitching near the bottom of the Rock and Sock logo is coming apart. But as far as problems go, that is definitely not a big one. This drum throne has been an absolute rock star all the years I've owned it. I highly recommend it. You can get it for like 170 bucks for the base part, an extra 45 bucks for the back part. That may seem really expensive, and it is. But you will be very happy the moment you buy it because you'll never be able to go back to those cheap drum thrones again. They are absolutely awful once you finally get a nice drum throne. And this goes for all expensive drum thrones. Uh, you don't have to buy a rock and sock, but getting a nice drum throne I think is a really good idea, especially if you have long practices. You will feel a lot better. It's like a kick pedal. You're gonna bring it to any drum set you ever buy. It doesn't matter if you upgrade to a new drum set later on. This will be the one thing you're sitting on probably for about 10 years. That's why I recommend buying a nice drum throne. It is totally worth it. Hey, thanks for watching. I make a new video about electronic drums and drumming in general every single Sunday. Sometimes I throw a bonus video in the middle of the week somewhere, but the best way to keep on top of all of those videos is of course subscribing. If you wanna see the channel news, it's on my Facebook page. If you wanna see my drum covers, that's on my Instagram page. See you guys next week.